forgive us in the mighty name of Jesus. And you may cleanse us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O Lord. As your word has told us in the book of Isaiah, that you will separate us from our sin, O God. That even if they may be red as scarlet, you will make us as white as snow, O God. We want to speak our, our forgiveness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O Lord. Because you sent your son, dear Father God, to die on the, uh, at Calvary, O God, for the remission of our sins in the name of Jesus. And we want to declare that we are forgiven in Jesus' name, O God. That even as your presence moves, even as, uh, even as you speak, O God, to us, that you may find us, dear Father God, blameless and righteous before you. We worship you. We give you the glory. Lord, for the families that are in this sanctuary, O God, we want to commit them unto your able hands, dear God. You that instituted the family, O God, be they a nuclear family, be they be a single family, dear Father, O God, we want to pray that your power that is in the name of Jesus is going to reign supreme in, in the families. Every power of the enemy is one to come to, to break down in the name of Jesus that it may, may come against every family that is represented in this sanctuary. And we want to declare that each and every family that is represented here is going to walk out of this sanctuary changed in the mighty name of Jesus. Every family that is broken or in the verge of being broken, we want to speak life in the name of Jesus. We worship you, we give you the glory. Lord, as a sanctuary, as, as a church, we have set up altars that do not worship you. And this morning, in the name of Jesus, that is above every other name, we want to set down each and every altar that does not worship you in this church in the mighty name of Jesus. We break down every stronghold of the enemy and we want to declare that this altar is going to be only for the glory and honor of your name. By the fire of the Holy Spirit. Every person that came with a need this morning. The presence of the Lord is in this sanctuary. Speak it and the Lord will listen. Speak it and the Lord will listen. Lord, as we continue on with our service, may you be with us and guide us as we hear from you. As, we, as you speak, let us hear. Give us ears that will hear you and do what we will require of us to do. In Jesus' name. Our Father who art in heaven, Lord be Praise the Lord. We came to seek the Lord and we can say that we have found him. Amen. If you still have doubt, find it in your heart. Like the Lord is here. God is here in our midst. And he he's here to meet with our needs. Let us just ask God the way and to know and to interpret the seasons. Amen. Um, we didn't have any presentations, but if you are there and you have a testimony, this is your chance. Anyone? Nasifiwe, mwada ni arogo osho, jita golea, nitodo adu wari ya matajue, <coughs> nilikueda kuruga maajue oshuhoni ni ate, ninyone tegai, e mwena wakwa, ninyone tegai, akiduta mukuru ine waruho, na kajiga hadu kuyone la wega wake, buwana sifiwe. Let us praise the Lord for layers. I'm sure each and every one of us has a testimony.
and sometimes you are afraid to come and testify before the people but when the Lord does good in secret we should share to encourage someone amen so even me I have a testimony the Lord has been good uh, I have been holding back and I even told my elder that it's a testimony that I'm afraid to share with people because it might be misinterpreted but uh, in the midst of COVID when everybody was being laid off I got a promotion that I didn't expect actually and I, I, like, I remember when we were Kuvuka <laughs> Mwaka we were told it's 2020 the year of double double and that has manifested in my life. Whatever I was earning before was doubled. This happened three months, two months ago. And I know that God, I, let me just say that I tested God. <laughs> that has been my word throughout this year. I have not been a faithful tither before. But this year, I told God that I'm testing him. And I have been not 100% faithful with the tithings, but I have been doing at least 80% of my tithings. And I told God that I would expect a miracle because he's the one that says, test me and you'll see the goodness of God. And for sure, I told my, my babies used to be sick all the time. We have not gone to the hospital. And even in the midst of all those things, there are things that I could just say that this is the heart of God. And in this season, Ado aga yate neto hinyerekete mono. No gainye uka. He's on his way and at the right time, his will will be manifested into you. Amen? May you tap to my blessings because God has been faithful. Uh, Elder Shehe, nyeko hoye rashiana. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Um, my name is Francis Shehe, and I'm happy to be in the presence of the Lord. I'm born again, and I love Jesus as my personal Savior. Uh, hallelujah. Yes, it doesn't matter what has happened in the past, it's time for revival. One as if you will. Hallelujah. Yes, as we have been told, it's our time to tap as the revival comes. God is doing a new thing. Yes, as he did to the Israelites in Isaiah chapter 41, he is also going to do for us. Amen. Yes, for, uh, I've been uh, invited to pray for the children and karibuni sana watoto wale wako nyumbani tutasimama ili tuweze kuomba pamoja tutafunga macho Ili tuweza kuomba pamoja. Wale wako wapa kwa kanisa, tusimame. We stand up. Yes. Na kama kuna mtoto, anaeza kuja hapa mbere. Yes. Kama kunae. Asanti. Thank you very much. Yeah, asanti. Hata wala wako bilo 18. Tunasema nina? Ni bilo 14 years. Thank you for those who are here. Yes, thank you very much. Start there. Yes, start there. About his enu. Ah, yeah. We are praying here. Yeah? We close our eyes. Eh? Ah, good. Thank you very much. Let us pray. Our God and our Father, we bow before you this morning with thanksgiving, with honor for who you are. We thank you, our God, because you have given us this beautiful day to get into a house, to worship you, to honor you, Jehovah. 
and therefore Jehovah King of glory. Deep to the deepest of our hearts, we have thanks. We have the praises before you. Thank you, Jehovah Father, for this opportunity that you have given unto us. And the opportunity that you have given us with our children, Jehovah King of glory. There are your children, there are children before you, Jehovah King of glory. And before they are, Jehovah Father of God, for those who are here and for those who are watching us from home, Jehovah King of glory, bring them unto you. As you said, let the children come to you, O Jesus. This one, we bring them unto you. We declare this morning they are blessed of you. They are blessed in their life, Jehovah Father, O God. We pray, Jehovah Father, O God, that as they continue with their, their education, as they reopen the schools, we declare Jehovah King of Glory this morning that they are going to be acceptable into the system that will be there for the education. That they are going to stand it and pass. That they are going to acquire the knowledge that is necessary in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, O oh God. We thank you, Jehovah Father, even for uh, this difficult time that we have gone through. That you have protected our children, Jehovah Father, O oh God. May you continue, Jehovah Father, putting them a hinge around them, Jehovah Father, O oh God. And a hinge of fire that the enemy will not be able to reach them. And therefore, Jehovah Father, this morning, we can forget to remember their parents, Jehovah Father, O oh God. Also, we bring them unto you, Jehovah Father, O oh God. As they go about in their workplaces, Jehovah Father, O oh God, may you bless them, Jehovah Father, O oh God. Open the doors and the windows of heaven and release your blessing according to your word. In Philippians chapter 4, verses 19, O oh God, that you're going to bless us, O oh God, according to your riches in heaven, so that these children will never lack. These children will always have something to eat. They will have something to wear, and they will have a good and a better education, Jehovah Father, O oh God. We declare they are blessed, O oh God, and therefore, Jehovah, in, Jehovah King of glory, in everything we did before you, and it's in the name of Jesus Christ, we do pray and we believe. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Watoto. God bless you. Bona sifiwe. Bona sifiwe. Bona sifiwe. Ah, uh, tunashukuru kwa vile tuko hapa eh, ili tuweze kumwabudu eh, na kumshukuru. My name is Mbogwamboro. I am born again. Uh, the Lord is my personal savior. And I am glad to get into his uh, sanctuary to worship and to praise his name. Uh, today we will get straight into our announcements. First is to welcome the preacher of the day. That is none other than our evangelist all the way from Kiambu Shire. <laughs> Karibu sana evangelist Busco. <laughs> Karibu, and may the Lord use you as his uh, honorable vessel. Tuko na wageni? Wageni? Aizo, Mike. Neza simama, wageni. You say hi to us. Majina yenyu. Na mali mmetoka. Na kama mtakuwa mkishiriki na sisi. Tuko na space ya kuwa accommodate. And as you can see, our services are very lively. Ndongo, I've come to visit my brother Steve Ndongo, and I'll be, vis I'll be fellowshipping with you for the time I'll be here. Thank you very much. We are very happy to have you in our sanctuary, and we continue to pray that you will continue to fellowship with us. And uh, Steve's sister, thank you very much. May the Lord continue to bless you as you fellowship with us. Uh, to the members, about Mefeza Kufika Leo, uh, we thank the Lord for you. And uh, may God continue to bless you as we continue to worship together. Now, we will get into our intimations uh, on the districts. Today, uh, Regan District 
and highway district will be having their fellowship after this service. So now uh, Regan will be having their service in the sanctuary and then highway will be having their uh, fellowship at the church hall. So Regan in the church hall uh, within the main sanctuary and highway in the uh, hall uh, that is next to us. Uh, next Sunday, Mudega district will be having their fellowship at, uh, that is the 27th of September here at the sanctuary and uh, the Lord is going to bless us. Let us continue to prepare for the same. Rungere district will be having their fellowship on the 4th of October at uh, Elder Donald's place. So after the service, so on the 4th of October, Rungere district will be having their uh, fellowship. Uh, we get into chart school. Uh, they will be they are requested to meet after the service. So chart school uh, members, you are requested to meet after this service. Uh, last Sunday we announced that uh, we'll be having a celebration of the 100 years since the ordination of uh, the first Presbyterian elders, African elders in uh, the Presbyterian church. Uh, they were ordained on the 20th of, uh, 19th of September, uh, 1920. And uh, we have continued on with that celebration in the course of the year. And uh, unfortunately, we are celebrating elders and have not received any MPESA message from the members of my district uh, celebrating 100 years. Now, um, in a, in a, we will be, there will be a service that will be held at uh, PCA Church of the Torch to celebrate the 100 years that the church, uh, that the elders, that the African elders uh, have been uh, at the helm of the Presbyterian Church. Now, I just wanted to read just the, the elders that were ordained on the 19th of September, 2020, uh, there are about 26 of them, and uh, one was Ishmael Wango, and you will notice that some of the, some of the elders that were uh, ordained on the 19th of September, 1920, went on to become uh, great men of God in the Presbyterian Church. You will just few, hear a few names that you will identify with some churches, Ambazo Ziko, Karibu, Nasisi, and you will know that uh, this was just the beginning of the move of God uh, within our area and within the, 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 the country. So there was Ishmael Wango, there was Samuel Gitao, the, there was David Makumi, there was Benjamin Gidhier. Benjamin Gidhier was actually uh, from uh, Kehumo, and he went on to become uh, a reverend in the church. And if you look at the front, when you go to our parish headquarters, that is Kehumo Church, at the front on the... Hini side gani? right side there, uh, you will see that there is a plaque ambayo imewekwa pale and uh, iliwekelewa na Reverend Benjamin Gedhier. He was one of the people who was ordained on that day. There was uh, Filifu Karaja, Andrea Wainaina, Samson Joroge, Ibrahim Juguna, Zakaria Wambura, Yusuf Ngwashe. Does that name ring a bell? Yes, Joseph Ngwashe, Alfred Muthuri, James Mureo, Musa Ngu Ngururia, William Joroge, Tomasa Wanyoike, Shadraka Mbirua, George Njoroge, Joshua Matenjwa, does that name ring a bell? Good. Uh, Musa Gitao, does that name ring a bell? Da Daud Indada, Shadrach and, uh, Kangu, Ayub Ngoyai, Dog Douglas Itotia, does that name ring a bell? <laughs> <laughs> Joseph Ngure, Musa Dirango, and Elijah Kifashia. So those are the elders that were appointed at Togoto on the 19th of uh, September, 1920. And uh, there were others that were ordained at Tumutumu, and I know my colleague Mr. Kimuri will, uh, can tell us more on those who are ordained at Tumutumu. But uh, of importance is a prayer that is in the program that is, sub, uh, that is celebrating uh, our elders who have been appointed all this while, and it is contained in the program that we have. And uh, I'll just read it as it is. In the midst of the chaotic times in the world, we proclaim Christ as the peace of the world. In the midst of works of darkness in many quarters, we celebrate Jesus Christ as the light of all peoples. In the midst of power, rivalries, and struggles, we announce that all power is hidden in Jesus Christ. In the midst of doubts and despair, we confess Jesus Christ to be our hope. In the midst of oppression and lack of recognition, we confess Christ, the emancipator and redeemer. In the midst of struggle to cope with many issues of life, we proclaim Jesus Christ who coped with many issues of life, even the cross. In the midst of wrong being seen as a winner, 
we confess Jesus the way, the truth, and the life as victor. That is a prayer that was um, made on the 50th anniversary of the dedication of the Church of the Torch in 1983, and it is still relevant to us up to this day. Now, in, in part of those celebrations, uh, we were recognizing in the course of the week uh, some of the elders that were, and we are answering the question whether youth can be elders, and you are truly, you are truly is, <coughs> was invited to have that discussion, and as you can see from our screens, I represented Mzuri Sane, Mzuri Sane. And uh, you know I can have a swag when I am on TV, so you can look that up on the, the interview that we had on the CAC TV uh, page. Uh, it is there, we were there on Friday, and uh, we thank the Lord for the opportunity to come and speak that, and even the hope to the, to the, to the youth that uh, you can uh, lead the, the people of God even in your youth. Well, I may not look like, like I'm below 35, I look like I am 50, but uh, I am still below 35. <laughs> I need to hit the gym more. Uh, so that, that is it. So let us continue celebrating and praying especially for the elders so that uh, as they continue to serve, the Lord is going to give uh, them strength to do the same. Now, uh, finally, uh, kuna, I have always wanted to use this. Now, kwa hali ambao tulisoma kiso hili mufti, na, na ambianga shosh mimi ni mzaliwa wapo wali, eh? na nakosa kuniamini. Aya, eh, kuwasi ni kukata, sawa sawa. Ukapera ni nini? Bachelor hood. Sawa sawa. Bachelor hood. Kwa hivyo, ukitaka kusema mtu ametoka, ameoa, kwa lugha ya... Kiswahili mufti, unasema uwa mtu wamefanya nini, ameuwasi ukapera. Tuka pamoja. Hadi hapo tuka pamoja. Kwa hivyo unasema umewasi nini, amekataa ubacha la hood. So one of us, as the elder, eh, decided to kuwasi ukapera. Na on the 29th of August tulienda pale, na kuru, na tukafurahia sana. Wakati ambapo tuliona one of us aki pata mke. Na kwa hivyo, ameweza kutupatia kadi ambayo ni very beautiful as you can see very beautiful card saying thank you very much so uh, eh si ungoje si ungoje ni wade gore ki owe mai so uh, this is the message it was wonderful to see you uh, to see, see to see many of you at nakuru the occasion was made so colorful uh, by your presence and prayers, and uh, God bless you. That is from Donald and Ann Wamba. So, mutangoja tu tutafanya the reveal. Kidogo tu, tunapatia tu musmus, musmus tu. So, so, leo ni kadi, next tutafanya ni nani ambayo ya meandika hiyo kadi. Sawa, sawa. All right, so God bless you, and have a fantastic week. The Lord is going to bless us. Praise the Lord. We thank God for this far. And now we're going to listen to our readings. That we, the first reading will come from the book of Amos 8, 1 to 6. And will be led by Leah Gekera. And the second reading will come from the book of Acts 5, 1 to 11 by Mary Kamunge. Praise the Lord. Uh, my name is Alea Wekera. And once again, I am going to say that I'm blessed. My family is okay. And we praise the Lord for that. Uh, our first leading comes from the book of Amos 1, 8, 1 to 6. And I lead. This is what the Solfen Lord showed me. A basket of ripe, ripe fruits. What do you see, Amos? He asked. A basket of ripe Lipe fruit, I answered. Then the Lord said to me, The time 
is life for my people, Israel. I'll spare them no longer. In that day, declares the, the sovereign Lord, the songs in the temple will turn to wailing. Many, many bodies flag everywhere. Silence. Here, this you who trample the needy and do away with the poor of the Lord. Sing, when will the new moon be over that we may sell grain and the Sabbath be added that we may market wheat, skimping the measures, boosting the plies and shooting with dishonest skills, buying the poor with silver and the needy for a pair of sandals, selling even the sweepings with the wheat. That marks the end of our first leading. Praise God. Praise God again. Our second reading comes from the book of Acts, chapter 5, from verse 1 to 11. And we can read together. Now a man named Ananias, together with his wife Sapphira, also sold a piece of property. With his wife's full knowledge, he kept back part of the money for himself but brought the, le the rest and put it at the apostles' feet. Then Peter said, Ananias, how is it that Satan has so filled your heart that you have lied to the Holy Spirit and have kept yourself some of the money you received for the land? Didn't it belong to you before it was sold? And after it was sold, wasn't the money at your disposal? What made you think of doing such a thing? You have not lied to men, but to God. When Ananias heard this, he fell down and died. And great fear seized all who heard what had happened. Then the young man came forward, wrapped his body, and carried him out and buried him. About three hours later, his wife came in, not knowing what had happened. Peter asked her, Tell me, is this the price you and Ananias got for the land? Yes, she said. That is the price. Peter said to her, how could you agree to test the spirit of the Lord? Look, the feet of the, man who, of the men who buried your husband are at the door, and they will carry you out also. At the moment she fell down and his, at his feet and died, then the young men came in and finding her dead, carried her out and buried her beside her husband. Great fear says the whole church and all who heard about these events. Let us appreciate our readers. And now we are going to welcome the preacher of the day, who is our evangelist, with the song Rock of Ages. Just clap for me.
my tears forever flow. Could my sin, no this for sin could not atone. Thou must save and call God in my heart. Simply to the cross I cling. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we are before you this wonderful day. We're in your presence, Father Lord God, where we come to lay off our burdens, where we come, Father Lord God, to find and seek refuge, where we run, Father Lord God, and get, Father Lord God, saved. We're in your presence this morning, Father Lord God, some of us with weary hearts, O Lord, some of us with tears, O Lord, some of us, O Father Lord God, are heavily laden. How we come to your presence, Father Lord God, praying that you may give us rest that you may feed our souls, O oh Lord, because of the bread of life, that you may heal and bind our broken hearts because you're the great physician, that you may come and bless us, O oh Father, because you're the blesser, that you may give us peace because you're the prince of peace, that you may give us comfort because you're the good and the great shepherd who leads us in still and cool waters, O oh Father. Be with us and speak to our hearts this day. Thank you because your presence is together with us, O oh Lord. Continue walking with us, O oh Father, even in the, uh, in, in, in the coming week and days, O oh Lord, may we forever behold and see your goodness. Thank you for the testimonies that we've heard, O oh Lord. Continue, Father Lord God, filling us with your, oh, oh, with, with, with your good uh, deeds, O oh Father, that we may continue to shine your light, O oh Father. Be with us and use me as a vessel of honor as I propagate your message, O oh Father. Thank you for your word and the richness therein. It's in Jesus' name we pray and give thanks. Praise God. Sijasema tuketi, olesikia wapi? Bwana asifiwe? Man, I was waiting for that. Bwana asifiwe? Praise God. God is good. Hey, he said sasa, nini ni mbaya? Tusalimiane. Bwana asifiwe? God is good. This side, bwana asifiwe? God is good. Huku nyuma, bwana asifiwe? God is good. Hawa likuwa mekula kakitu, niliwapata place, eh? So, sisi water born as if you were. God is good. And all the time, let us make some joyful noise unto the Lord. Thank you. You may have your seats. You may have your seats. Indeed, uh, these are the day that the God, uh, our Lord has made for us to rejoice and be glad in it. And indeed, He's reminding us that He's continuing to do a new thing in our lives. Born as if you were. Situmeskia Ushuhuda. That even in the midst of a storm, even though the enemy may come in like a flood, God will raise a standard for us. Bona asifiwe. Hata kama kuna COVID, hata kama kuna changa moto inakaaje, God will never leave you nor forsake you. I'm sure on Sunday you were taught about the love of God, that nothing can separate us from the love of God because our God is not moved by situations or seasons. People will change Seasons will change, you know, as we saw, our businesses may change, our employments may change, our livelihoods, our partners, but God will never change. Born as if he My name is Bosco Kemadi. More to that, I'm delighted to be in the presence of the Lord because he has saved me, he has called me to minister uh, the, during this particular time. And I thank God because uh, we've heard about the elders that were ordained you know, in 1920. And it is my prayer. I, I, I just want to request our elders today. Kindly, kwa heshima tu simameni. Our elders, I can see Sir John, uh, Elder John Kuleivo, Elder Ndadi is also here. Kindly, angaliani our elders wetu. Si wako sharp. I want us to prophesy to them and to, you know, to speak a word of blessing to them that a hundred years to come, they are generations and even themselves and even, you know, their families and even the people that they are serving today in this church, watakuwa somewhere. Not only in the books of this life, but even in the books of heaven. Bonus, if you will. Let us celebrate them once again. Thank you, thank you. You may have your seats. You may have your seats. Si wanakafiti. Lakini manze, wanadada, you know, young, young ladies, eh? You can still become elders. Sindio? Sindio, our church. Yeah, you can still become elders. So, 
let us continue believing and trusting in God for those, uh, you know, for, 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 for those ministerial positions. Uh, let me bring greetings from a church that I was ministering on Sunday. And uh, the name of the church is PCA Kabuku Parish. And they sent me with greetings. Mezi Pokea. And we had a wonderful time there. And we were speaking about the love of God. Angalia jirani yako, mwambia the love of God. Hey, hapo kwa love manze mnaeka alama ya msisitizo, eh? And uh, of course we can, we, we heard uh, that one of us here, manze kuna vile alikuwa in, ako in love, sindiyo? So tulikuwa tunajikumbusha about the love of God and how, you know, how he loves us. Alisema manze heri ni die. Alitoka binguni ya kaja duniani, akalipa madeni. So we don't have a reason to worry. We have every reason to smile and be happy and be strong. Not because of the circumstances that we see, not because of the promotions that we get by the gathering. Zingine zinakuja mingi, buwana asifiwe. Ata sisi wote, but just because hazijafika, don't think that God doesn't love you. Habakkuk in chapter 3, 17 to 19, he said, even though the fig tree do not bud or blossom, even though the grapes do not eat fruits, even though the cattle and, you know, might be cut off and there may be no food in the fields, yet I will rejoice in the God of my salvation. One as if you, in the midst of a storm, continue worshiping God. In the midst of a hard situation, in the midst of, a, you know, losing your job, continue worshiping God. Because sorrows may last for a night, but joy comes in the morning. One as if you, and we always say the joy of the Lord is our strength. May God strengthen us so that we may be able to finish strong and to keep the faith. Thank you for those who read uh, our two readings today. And the theme of our day today, uh, of our sermon today, we want to talk about money. Angalia jirani yako. Mwambia pesa. Mwambia paper. Asiwaski mwambia paper. Mwambia cheddar. Mwambia mula. Mwambia dough. Mfanya hivi, eh? Mwambia cheki ya hapa, ya? Eh, unaona vile mnafanya poa, eh? So... Today we want to talk about money. And the theme is no to corruption. Bwana asifiwe. I know when I talk about corruption hapa, kila mtu anajua. It is fresh in our minds. Just the other day, tulisikia kuna, you know, kuna probi naendelea in Kemsa and stuff, the COVID millionaires. And it is so sad to see the direction our nation and the world at large is taking as a result of corruption. What do you want to do with just because some people somewhere have been able to do what They have continued to oppress the poor and to push them even over the edge. And God today is reminding us, as his people, as his children, we are the voice for the voiceless. And our first reading comes from the book of Amos. And Amos was you know, written by the prophet Amos, who was pronouncing judgment to the Israelites. Because at some point, walipata promotions, mungu wakawabariki, they had, you know, heavy, waka harvest, waka vuna vizuri, they had good livelihoods, walikuwa na nyumba ambazo zilikuwa zinakaapoa, and they felt, you know, they had complacency, they felt, you know, they, they have a sense of security by themselves. And God was declaring judgment because they had forsaken the way of their God, and because of their idolatry and oppressing the poor. And this guy was a shepherd, and he used to tend the sycamore fig tree. He was just a farmer, but God chose him to go and pronounce judgment to the northern kingdom, that is Israel. But himself, he came from the southern kingdom, that is Judah. And in our text, we read about people who were good at observing religious festivals but not in spirit. Wana come, wana ka church. Wana worship, wana inuwa mikono, but in their hearts, wana uliza manze, uja mata achakelele sangapi, tuende shuglizetu, tuka make do, inaitagua money minting activities. And they couldn't wait for holidays and sabbaths to be over so that they could go back to making money. Praise be to God. And they used to make money, you know, in dishonest ways or activities. And we can see corruption 
haikuanza jana ilianza enzi zile because in those days they used to have weights and measures for buying and selling and they would take advantage of the poor they would you know walikuwa natumia zile weights heavy when they are buying and when they are selling wanatumia zile weights you know chache or the lighter weights they are called diverse weights and in our second reading we also saw Mr and Mrs Ananias these guys after the disciples and the apostles came together they were living like a community like a family and we are told in the bible that hakuna mwenye alikuwa na shida like we are baraka family here hakuna mmoja wetu atiatapata shida nikisikia my friend here wa jubilee hana chakula nitaenda niuze ambacho niko nacho nilete pesa kwa elders hapa wagawie watu kulingana na mahitaji yao and that's what they used to do and they had wonderful fellowship and i want you to imagine at sisi wote hapa hakuna mtu wako na shida because we are sharing whatever we have in that love but these guys they thought after barnabas sold a piece of a parcel of land akaleta pesa the disciples feet ananias and safira wakajua hata sisi lazima waone tumo bwana asifiwe they sold a piece of land but they kept some money sometimes I, Catherine talked about tithe god is telling us bring the whole tithe not 80% or 90 not even 99.9 the whole hapo mtaongea sana the whole tithe i'm a living testimony of the same you know when you don't tithe god compares you with a robber now the sentence for robbery ni no tell them yeah life sentence or death He's a learned lawyer mmemona hata kwa tv kwa screen eh so god anafaa kukuja kama umekataa na tithe yake anafaa kukulipa na kifo and tithe you know the principle of tithing works a lot na mungu hatuambii tulete tithe hakuna time tutapata our treasurer hapa na ngazi ati anapelekea mungu pesa one of the things or the reasons as to why we are told to bring tithe to church nasikia ga watu wakisema mimi siyazipeleka I've, I've, I've had a, a debate with young people several of them that siwezi peleka tithe kwa church kwa nini zitakuliwa huko of course uwezi pelekea Mungu akule and god is telling us tithe kikuja kwa nyumba yake kazi yake itaendelea bwana asifiwe we will be able to reach out to those who are starving we'll be able to reach out to those who do not know him we'll be able to reach out to those you know ambao wako kwa mashida tofauti and the other thing is that when you pre, you discipline yourself kama utaweza kuleta hiyo tithe hata zile ambazo utabaki nazo you'll be able to manage your finances bwana asifiwe and that is why for the same reason angalia ile time hauko toa tithe hiyo pesa hata ujuagi iliendaje and in the book of hagai chapter 1 verse 1 to 11 it talks about watu ambao wanaishi makeja poa you know in very comfortable and tiled houses well paneled houses but the house of god in a leak Munaka you know angalia ni kwenye tunaishi alafu muangalie church yetu Sometimes I go to a church unapata in a leak and you ask yourself manze how does god feel tukikuja kuinua mikono na kwenye utarudi home kukilik kidogo the next minute unaita and god was telling these guys that's why you will eat na ushibi you will try to keep yourself warm kama last week last week but one kulikuwa na baridi ingine kali Unavaa majako, jackets trying to keep yourself warm in all in vain. Unadhokoma pesa yako ujui inaenda wapi? Ni kama unaweka mfuko iko na nini? Mashimo. And it's, it's all about you know corruption. When you don't bring your tithe, that is also a, a, you know a, a certain level of corruption. Just like Ananias and Sapphira. And we see what happened to them. After they lied to the apostles they thought you know they are lying to human beings but they were lying to God and God is telling us that as his people we have to say no to corruption and corruption is the abuse of trusted power for private gain tumeona watu ambao wanajitajirisha kama ni pesa ya sadaka 
unavuka nayo ili kuinafaa kutumika in a certain project kwa church in a certain project to feed the needy in a certain project in the community kama we ni uh, politician or in a certain uh, government office and some people will suffer as a result you've used the power that was entrusted to you for private gain this is also acceptance or giving money in exchange for certain favors illegally and corruption is displayed by such vices as bribery embezzlement and, you know misappropriation of uh, public funds nepotism land grabbing and you know yesterday I was watching the news and i saw an elderly lady amenyanganywa shamba yake ya 90 acres you saw that it was so disheartening mama mzee mpaka unashindwa what is wrong with people they got no chills and 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 you see god is telling us in the book of amos that because of taking advantage of the needy in that day the songs in the temple will turn to wailing many many bodies flung everywhere in silence and god is telling us today tuache kukua too much money minded that we put profit before people and money before our maker and god is telling us just like paul told timothy in first timothy chapter 6 that the love of money is the root of all pesa sio mbaya ukiweka 1000 moja kwa mfuko hapa itajitoa whatever you do with that money ndi ina determine kama ni mbaya ama ni nzuri and god is reminding us that we should be content with whatever we have don't compare yourself with my sister here just because amepata promotion na hujapata probably hata hauko job you know and timothy is told by paul don't involve yourself with any degree or level of corruption and in history let me take you back corruption brought down you know roman empire was the greatest empire which had uh, you know the greatest human administration in the world or the world have, had ever seen and these guys were able to conquer great enemies they were able they, they were able to conquer you know great kingdoms but they were you know they were unable to conquer just one insidious enemy and that is corruption and you can see even in our country today ni shida gani kubwa tuko nayo corruption but god is telling us we are the voice for the voiceless ukienda pahali ambao kuna pia ni wahongo and you contribute to that you know you are participating in that vice and god is not happy now effects of corruption one corruption kills conscience inaitagua conscience ama conscience unajua nikisema conscience my youth wa Tanzania ni yule muimbaji wa nauko eh so i'm talking about our dhamiri dhamiri ito si ndio and corruption burns our conscience and we become arrogant ukizoea vitu corrupt ukizoea kupata pesa na njia ambazo sio you know in in dishonest ways you become blinded and your conscience goes na hakuna kitu ambacho uwezi fanya sababu ya pesa that's why you see people killing that's why you see people you know hana haja na life ya mtu as long as yeye anapata pesa that's why you see people embezzling pesa za wagonjwa they don't care whether they live or die and god is saying in that day, on that day the songs will change just because of the corruption activities or the corrupt activities that you you know you participate in and we see people here who were spiritually dead in the book of amos but very alive when it comes to money issues sasa hizi tunasema mwezi kwa kwa kona sasa hiyo sasa wametulia but ngoja uone end man by the end man ndio kuna kuagana traffic end man ndio watu wanakuaga wamechangamka end man ndio mtu anakusalimia ga vizuri na cycle lakini saa hizi ngoja kidogo uchokoze mtu utakipata juu wale taina kitu bana 
And it's because we put money before God. We, we become so alive to possessions, but dead spiritually to the things of God. And God is telling us, if we have to worship him in truth and in spirit, lazima tumueke mbele. God first, other things follow. Matthew 6, 33, seek first the kingdom of? Si ati tuko hapa alafu naangalia saa manze kadilka kwa karibu kuiva. Ata uski word. And God is asking you, what's the point of gaining the whole world and losing your soul? You remember the parable of the rich fool? I call it the fool's gold. This guy, aliona ya kwamba amevuna and the bands were full. And he, he thought to himself, sasa wakati wa kukula na kusherekea umefika. What I do, I'll tear down there. The bands, ni jenge zingine kubwa, I store my harvest there, ni relax, I tell my soul what? Relax, you know, sit, relax, and enjoy. God akamuambia, you fool, you know, your soul is required of you tonight. God is telling us to stop chasing those things that are temporal. To the extent that we, we lose our lives and we lose our touch with God. Corruption kills our conscience. And in 1 Timothy 6.10 it says, For the love of money, many have wandered away from the truth, and they have pierced themselves with great sorrows. Angalia wale watu wanapenda pesa. Chirigie gekuwa guwa. You know, umtu anakuwa gatu ever money minded. Vile atu atapata pesa. Ata kama ni kuibia mwenzaki. Ata kama ni ku, you know, Kuzia watu vitu ambazo wazifai. The other day we, thought, we heard about sugar amba ilikuwa na mercury. Tunasikia vitu ambazo ni substandard. The other day I was watching news ni kaona. Hata kwa kebs pia kumeingia corruption. So where are we heading? Brothers and sisters. God is, to, is telling us today we have to stand. Otherwise our generations will not survive. We have to speak out because corruption is a cancer that is eating our nation our livelihoods, our future, day by day. And it starts with you and me. And God is reminding us to be honest, to let our conscience be alive, and let your conscience be your God. Number two, corruption perverts justice and oppresses the poor. In Amos, or in Proverbs 17, verse 23, we see that the wicked accepts a bribe in secret to prevent or to pervert the ways of justice. Amos 5.12 says, you accept bribe and turn aside needy in the gate. Unapokea hongo, unageuza kesi, just because hana pesa, just because hana connection, just because hana mtu wakumshika mkono, God is telling us, be careful. Because you'll be eating, hautakuna shiba. Utakuna pata pesa, inaingia kwa mashimo. And God is reminding us today that people have suffered as a result of corruption. In the book of Acts, we see Paul suffering under a corrupt governor in Rome. When he was, you know, interrogated by Governor Felix, and Felix found Paul was, you know, innocent, but akaendelea kumfungia gerezani. He thought Paul atampatia kitu kidogo. And Paul said, di geruta onake. Alimuliza, olesikia? Olesikia wapi? Ata sisi, we should be, you know, act the same. Mtu akikuambia leta hongo, leta kitu kidogo, umuambia olesikia? Olesikia wapi? And God is reminding us, just like Paul, you know, let us be honest. And you see, this governor, Felix, I think he trained through the family. His brother was called Pallas. He had accumulated wealth. He was worth 4.5 billion shillings. Back then, he's a And it, the, 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 the only way Alipata is pesa is through bribery and exhortation of the, the, the poor, to extort the poor. And I just remembered it's not all about money. There are people who also exchange their, their bodies for certain favors. Universities to meskia, lecturers, and I, I used to work in USIU. 
that university I could see things that were happening there in Itagua sextortion yeah sextortion where you exchange your body for certain favors let us say no to it is a form of corruption our young girls you are too you know precious for such things our young men say no to such activities it is immoral it is corrupt before the eyes of god it is detestable and number three corruption causes curses angalia jirani yako mwambie manze corruption causes curses eh najaribu ku pia eh and and we are told that corruption brings a curse upon one's family property and souls proverbs chapter 11 verse uh, chapter 13 verse 11 the, the the call to worship that dishonest money dwindles away but money and little by little grows and we see that in deuteronomy 25 verse 16 i believe you did this last sunday but one about honesty or integrity in our transactions when god told them do not carry in your bag two two stones or two weights one small and one big one heavy and one light god is telling them that in verse 16 of deuteronomy 25 that all who cheat with dishonest measures and weights are detestable to god they are cursed kwa hivyo kama uko na shop kama uko na biashara unapimia watu maziwa badala uwapimia lita moja unawapimia 3 quarter god is watching your bag bwana asifiwe kama ile mau unayekelea pale uko na butcher yama unawapimia sukari haifiki kuna place manze uko mtaani si ununua nyama i'll be honest hiyo nyama ifikagi si are you serious why lie aki ifikagi alafu unayekelea bone my friend na ina kitu and you wonder where is the world going kama uko you know god anakuambia hata upate hiyo profit haitakusaidia because ameilaani you won't enjoy it you your family your children ati tunasema tuna invest ya watoto wetu tunataka kuwaekea hawa zitawamaliza by the way and in fact let me go back to tai tugaga dogeria indo cia gai ne shikuriyaga awezi hata hizi za public ukule mali ya maskini ulisikia wapi ndizo zitakumaliza let us avoid all forms of corruption bribery you know using diverse ways and so on and so forth let us be satisfied with whatever god has given us and because he's doing a new thing he will come and bless you he will bless the work of your hands he will bless your generations probably sahi hautaendesha v8 but siku moja mtoto wako ata drive probably sahi hautaenda majuu hata mimi sijaienda lakini nishaienda airport and and niliona hivi live live on air and <laughs> <laughs> na, na mwenye anaenda soon manzea ni akuja tuombe tuende hivyo you know tuende ile design ya kina joho na nani tuende turudi now you know god is telling you he will bless you he will bless the the fruit of your womb your generations he will bless the work of your hands you will enjoy hata kama upati profit kubwa utaienjoy unaweza pata mingi ushinda getu hospitali utapata mingi kansa ikumalize utapata mingi yo v8 and God is telling us any property that we receive in dishonest ways imelaaniwa kama ushaichukua kitu ama mali ambayo si halali rudisha tu itakumaliza and i remember it happened to me one day i was going home nikaingia kwa matatu ilikuwa around 10 10 10 pm akukuwa na kafiu i had a meeting and it delayed so from town to kiambu kalipisho wa 100 nilikuwa na 100 nikapatiana nikakaa pale kwa kona tukaenda tukaenda karibia kufika the conductor came back searching akafika kwa wangu akanipatia 100 i'm like this is a blessing man <laughs> lakini vile nilishuka mat nika feel this guy kuna mtu alimpatia 200 hakukumbuka ni nani so pale kuna watu wawili waliumia the conductor na ule mtu alipatia na 200 
and I felt so bad about it. Then after a long time, after a while, nilikuwa hata naona huo conductor na feel. Then after some time nikaenda kwa shop. Nika buy some stuff. Kufika kwa hao napata nimerudishiwa change na mia moja extra. So in fact mtu amenipea ile kitu nimebuy na akaniongeza pesa. And I felt no. Lakini kaambia Mungu, ile siku nitapitia kwa hiyo shop nitafanya nini? Ndarudisha hiyo mia moja. Manze hadi wa leo. Hiyo <laughs> ni una lipa by the way ya promotion. Na I'm, I'm telling you nikipita iko hiyo shop nione huo shopkeeper mimi kumbuka hiyo mia moja. And you see seek to enjoy my conscience because iko alive in a, in a haunt. God akanipati another chance. Hapo tu home kuna shop nika buy stuff. Nikienda nikaona change nimerudishiwa na mia moja juu. I'm telling you the truth. And I decided no this cannot continue. Nikajiita kamkutano. Nikajiuliza vile swali ya CR. John alienda akarudishiwa change na mia moja juu. As a good Christian. John, what would you do? A. Take the money to the pastor. B. Take it to the police station. C. Count it a blessing. D. None of the above. Now. <laughs> Mini lirudi kwa ile shop. Nikapatia shopkeeper nikamwambia tarabe saishi. Akahesabu akarealize, man. Dagosho kelia. And you know for a shopkeeper pro, mia moja manze probably ni profit, you know. Akaniuliza kagotoire ya dotawe. You know, are there still people like you around? Gemura tini ene guy. Because I knew the car history. You know? Nikajua kuna conductor aliumia, kuna shopkeeper mwingine nikamwambia tiga demo onoku. And yesterday, you know, <laughs> on a light on a light note. We were talking with Elder Kamunga nilikuwa nini side za Naivasha. Tukiwa na dad tumefika hapo soko mjinga we decided to buy some stuff. So my dad si unajua hao mama vile wanakujaga na psych I like their energy. So mmoja akakuja kambeg manze gorilla is gorilla is yona kafaoji kelie be shawa akinya. My dad told him nie ne dunya naga da hota kwaga kugoikeria you know he, he was just joking. And it is good to be honest. Kama unajua mtu ukimkopesha pesa kama ukikopa hautarudisha. Mwambie live you singoje. Sindio? But it's good kulipa madeni, sindio? So my point is, iyo pesa ambe ukonayo, ambe ulipata kwanje ambayo si halali, that grade that you got out of sextortion, you know that property you have, that parcel of land, ulifanya mse, awawe ama afkuzo ndi upate, it is cast. No apologies. God ndi anasema, siyo mimi. We have to search ourselves to jiulize. And God is reminding us, he's watching your bags. He's watching my bag. He's watching the bag of our lives. Ananias and Sapphira. They never lived to enjoy whatever they had kept. Siwalikufa. What's the point? Gaining the whole world and losing your soul. Finally, corruption breeds and feeds greed. Eh? Mnaskia iyo. Corruption breeds and feeds Greed. Nini msani? Bear with me. And someone told me, greed will enslave us all. Sometimes I, I think, nastaki kushout, watu yuetu wako home because of some corrupt people somewhere. We are suffering more of us. Wengine wetu wamefutuwa kazi just because some people are so corrupt, they are greedy. Wengine wetu tumepata salary cut because of greedy employers. And God is telling us, he will always apply to our needs, but not our greed. He's our good and our great shepherd. We shall never be in need or be in want. And whoever is greedy for unjust gain troubles his own household, but he who hates bride will live. It is Proverbs. Inasema, we ambao uko greedy about money, about pesa, that you'll do anything. Unaletea laana family yako, just like Ananias and Safira. They moka akuireke. And you see, walikufa wote sababu ya greed. Na hakuna mtu walikuwa mewaitisha hiyo pesa, hakuna mtu walikuwa mewaitisha. No. And nowadays, especially the young generation, we have a ka syndrome, kanaitwa get rich quick syndrome. Tunataka kutajirika overnight. 
That is why tunaona gambling is on the rise. Betting. Unataka kuwekelea kesho uamke ukiwa tajiri. Kuigerera tu. And this to me it opposes the Christian work ethic. PCA, our church, our tradition jigua do makiuga fithie ne yaitonga. Ithetiguo. But they don't know we were taught to work hard and God bless the work of our hands. Sindio elder. That is why we can see those elders muraigu wa mage dhomu haha. They worked. They labored for the vineyard. In the, in the vineyard. They labored for the kingdom. Na tunaskia they are generations. Tunaskia viliambavyo church ilisma because they were faithful servants. They were not greedy. We want to get rich quick. We have pierced ourselves with sorrows just because we want to be like so and so. Just because we want to be promoted. Unataka kuwaribia ule muingine. Just because we want to, you know, recognize who you your position, you bring other people down just because of greed. That is a form of corruption. And this also denies the, princip the, the, the principle of stewardship. God has given us everything. Whatever you have is just a temporary loan. To ifanyia kazi. Remember the parable of the talents. Is if it is not is a God. See there too. In fact, we are told we are bought at a price. We don't belong to ourselves. One day we'll be accountable how you lived. So let your life count. And you know corruption, it takes advantage of other people, especially the needy. And God is not happy with that. So, number one, let your conscience be your God. Let your conscience guide you. Secondly, love the Lord your God with all your heart, strength and mind. Ukipenda mungu, autakuna angalia saati masai mefika saati toke church. Nataka kuenda biashara. The other thing, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Kama uwezi taka kuibiwa, usiibe. Sindio? Kama uwezi taka kutekiwa advantage. Kama uwezi taka kuziwa iyo nyama ambayo jafika, you know. Don't do that to others. And lastly, don't compare yourself to other people. Be satisfied with whatever you have. First Timothy chapter 6 verse 6 says, But godliness with contentment is great gain. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed and a fruitful week ahead. Praise the Lord. Have you been blessed? Have you been blessed? Amen. I've also been blessed. Uh, we invite Elder... Mr. Wamba at Obey Sadaka. Tuero ni Elder Bogo ni atu yure weto Elder Don. So Elder Mr. Wamba. I greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Samjambo. Yes, uh, I thought I would not speak today. In fact, Elder Bogu had told me he would not introduce me today without <laughs> uh, the wife that I got married to. But however, that has changed a bit. And uh, uh, all the same, I'll take this opportunity to say how grateful I am to be back with you and to be part of you and for all the support that I have received from Baraka um, in that COVID uh, season when I did my wedding uh, the support was just overwhelming and I think I will forever be grateful for being part of this Bar Baraka congregation and may God bless you so much now we shall stand up and pray for uh, the offering. And this, uh, we shall post them into the, in the box on our way out. Everlasting Father, we thank you and we come before you with so many thanksgiving, dear Father, for all the blessings that you continue to give us every day of our lives indeed there are so many things that we could thank you for 
because uh, there are so many ways in which you have blessed us. Most of all, we want to thank you for all the provisions that you continue to give us. Where we get provisions to uh, cater for our families and indeed to bring some to your sanctuary in order so that your work can go forward. We pray that you will continue to take care of us and to bless us in many ways. Bless those whom we love, dear Father, so that they may be protected from sickness. Bless those that we love, those who are friends to us, dear Father, so that we might continue to rejoice together with them. And may we continue to love you and to serve you with all our strength, dear Father. And now we present our, ble our offerings to you, dear Father, so that it may be used in the extension of your kingdom, dear Father. We ask that you will bless it and bless it, the work to which it will be put. This is our prayer of faith, dear Lord, through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Buona Sifiwe, we've all been blessed and Elder Kamuge, do you guys get any that? Usalimiye church. Thank you, Catherine. God bless you. Buona Sifiwe, Masai Menda Sana. We... We thank God for your presence. Thank you for all of you for coming back to church. May God bless you. Let us continue coming. On 11th, we plan to have a praise day, a day to come and praise the Lord. And we, we did an example today of how we want to praise. We can do better than that today. Sindio, praise God. So on 11th, we'll come, praise, and thank the Lord for who he is. Thank you. Mukwena wikinjema na mbarikiwe sana. Asante. So tismame tuseme the grace. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Tunaomba wepo wako wende na si Ewe buwana wa majeshi tusikie Kama u Hatutake kutoka hapa Hatuwezi peke yetu enda nasi Tuwa tuwa, tuwa tuwa shingo gumu tusame Hatufai, hatufai beleza ko
have a blessed week in Jesus name Namsiende home at this city again na modega ne highway sorry this city again na highway kindly na offering tunaenda to drop kwa ile box iko hapa kwa mlango asanteni